2 Kings chapter 19, verse 30. And the remnants who have escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downwards and bear fruit upwards. I was watching during the course of the day how seed grow. How seed grows. I watch um, the seed of corn, coconut, and a lot of other beans and all of those forever. And I actually saw something that I didn't note before. Because the only thing that I knew, because from primary one, when we started primary one, I started primary one in 1979. You see, say, I know be your mate. <laughs> 1979 was when I started primary one. And the first thing they taught us was agriculture. And they asked us, the Mr. Dyson, they asked us to bring a container and put good soil inside the container. And they ask us to bring, uh, uh, what do we call, the seed of corn. And then we brought it and they asked us to plant it and put it inside, the, inside that container, inside the soil in the container. And be putting water every day. So when we come to class, we just put water. The first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day. From around sixth day, I see the corn, you know, sprouting tentacles. And then it grows up like that and like that. What I've noted was that every time a seed is planted, it first rots away. It first dies before it starts growing. But what I did not know is that when you want to start growing actually, do you know every seed first of all starts growing root? Before you see the leaf up. Before you can see any semblance of anything outside. They grow root, very feeble stuff like that. They grow root. The first thing that happens to them after they, they rot away and they die is they grow root. Before they grow leaves. And they grow fruit. Fruit is actually the final thing. Because they will grow every other thing. You know, but the problem now is that as soon as somebody gets born again, he wants to get results. Immediately. As soon as you get born again, you are looking for the best of the, of the women in the church. You are already looking at them as they are dancing. Everybody testify, you are good. You are already looking at them. This one will be my wife. This one will not be my wife. This one, you know. I've seen more than enough of such. Somebody just got born again and God just began to deal with him. And uh, in the forum, we put somebody and he said, ah, Pastor, uh, can I tell you the truth? This is the kind of person that I feel for. I say, are you normal? I ask, I say, are you normal? But eventually the person fell. Both into the hand of that person and to the other people. Because the born againism has not been more than three months. Some people just want to start preaching. Some people just want all their prayers to be answered. They, don't, they have not even learned the rudiment of prayers. They don't even know what prayer is all about. They think prayer is just, Rababo, say, baby, oh God, oh God. He does not prayer. I remember the other day that Reuben came to me and told me he, wants, he wanted to be doing, I think I've said it on the altar before, I like practical examples. He wanted to be doing every morning prayer. I said, why? He said, I just want to be doing it. He said, who have you learned from? He said, not really, just like the way Peter Waluke said. I said, so I'll give you three months to go and watch Peter Waluke, 6 a.m. in the morning. Do you still do it? <laughs> I know like I know that I have eyes that you have stopped doing it. <laughs> that you have stopped watching. I know you cannot sustain watching him. If you cannot sustain watching somebody who does it for three months, how can you sustain doing it for all of your life? The hand of the Lord is heavy over him. Great, very feasible. But there are things you, you must, everything you will do in this life, you must, whether you know it or not, some of you do not know, as you see me preaching here, you are learning it. One day, Ansa was standing at the back of the church and just began to say, eh, when Jesus, as the way I used to do, the way I do normally. So I was watching him, I was the only one here. He was trying to preach at me. He himself did not even understand. Because as I'm talking, they are learning. Seed die. 
before they have fruit. So, this is where I'm going. Before God will begin to deal on you with big matters, he will kill you. Are you ready to die? The reason why a lot of people never taste fruitfulness in their destiny, they never die. They have never died. They never. 